Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today, I will discuss simple interest. Ang simple definition of basic interest, a simple interest is the interest paid on the principal. So, meron tayong two types or two kinds of simple interest. Ang una ay ordinary simple interest. Ang ordinary simple interest is computed based on calendar year in sa mga banko. So, ang kinukompute nila ang one year equals 12 months then 1 month was 30 days then 12 months was 360 days dito, uh, dito ay sa, sim sa ordinary simple interest meron tayo 360 days sa so another kinds or type of simple interest yung tinatawag na exact simple interest dito naman ay Kinocompute dito sa exact simple interest is computed based on the exact number of days doon sa kalendaryo. Kung ilan yung bibilang natin yung kalendaryo, yung buong kalendaryo ay meron tayong yatawag na ordinary ordinary year. Ito yung 365 days Meron tayong tinatawag na leap year. Ito yung pag October, ah, yung February ay naging 29. So, ito yung leap year ay 366 days. <clears throat> Ang formula ng simple interest ay basic na interest was the principal rate times time. Para mas madaling ma-regol natin o ma-remember yung formula gawa tayong ibang version. So, I, interest, big I, principal, P, small I, interest, M, N. And, I equals to PIN. So, madali lang natin mga tandaan. So, itong si I, note, where I, big I, ito si I, is ito yung ang tatawag natin na simple, simple interest earn o yung ginansya, yung tubo. Si I, big I, or gain. Then, si P, Ito ay remember na kalahan tandaan natin ito si P. Ito na tawag natin ay principal. Principal. Hindi yung principal sa school. Principal yung capital. Principal or tinatawag nito present, ah, principal or present word or value. Si P. Or, tinatawag rin ito investment. Puhunan. Investment. Puhunan. So, yun. Tandaan natin mga terms. Then, si I. Ito si small I. Ito si big I. Si small I. Ito yung tinatawag natin ay interest. Interest rate. Yung interest, ipapatong dito kay principal interest rate or interest rate per period per period kung, di, na, kung walang naka-specify doon sa problem i-consider natin year yun then ito si N or si time parehas lang din si R, ito si R, si rate of interest it, naggawa lang tayo panibong gawas yun para mandi, madali natin ma-recall Remember, I equals to pin. Then, si N is the number of interest period. Number of interest period. Or time yung haba na babayaran mo. Or time yung haba na babayaran. So, ito. Alam, matanda na rin ito. So, Another formula ng 
simple interest to F. F I future equals sub principal plus interest. It's a big I interest. So, equate na to P principal substitute na to by I. Dito si I. I si I. I fin. Ito lang gagamitin natin para mas dating matandaan. Si I equals to fin. So, fin Yan. Then, factor natin si P. So, mo si P. Si P, 1 plus si I tsaka si N. Interest tsaka si number of written. Another formula niya. So, well, tayong dalawang formula ng simple interest. Pag multiplyin to, ito rin yung labas niya. So, instant F si F dito ay future or some future yung future ay no mali spelling future word future word or tinatawag to sum yung total sum of future value or accumulated yung dadagdag niya accumulated itong tandaan natin to kung matandaan natin to madali na masagot to so gagawasagot na tayo ng problem example number one problem simple interest Mr. Rafael was borrowed the amount of 50,000 pesos from a bank with an interest rate of 5% per month. Ang, ang tanong niya, how interest is going to pay at the end of 8 months? So, lahat ang gagawin natin. First step, lahat ng details kukunin natin. So, meron tayo dito, borrow the amount of 50,000. Meron tayo P. Details, given. Tayo, given. So, given. Lahat ng details, meron tayo P, principal ay 50,000. Then, meron tayo interest rate at 5% interest. The interest rate. So, 5%. So, convert ito sa decimal. Paano mo convert? Mag-divide tayo ng 100%. So, divide lang natin. 5 divide 100. So, equals... 0.05 Divide nyo lang para maging decimal Sa 100, divide 100% Then meron tayo interest Meron tayo N Per month N So yung N natin ay How it is going to be at the end of 8 months Meron tayo 8 So hindi natin convert sa year na Kasi meron na per month ang one, Ang nakasa, nakalakay dito So Anong hinahanap? How interest? So, interest. Ang missing nga, interest. Ito ang hanapin. So, how interest is going to be at the end of 8 months? So, so alam natin yung formula ng interest. Uh, interest equals to PIN. Dali lang tandaan. So, so dito natin si principal. Meron tayo principal. 50,000 multiply Ay, ay, interest rate, meron tayo 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Then, multiply kay N and number of periods. So, number of periods per month, meron tayo N, 8 months. 8, then, uh, interest, then, calculator natin. 8 times 0 0.05 times... 50,000 50 times 0.05 times 8 tayo 20,000 ang answer ay 20,000 VHP ito yung sagot natin 20,000 so Pag dinivide ito sa 8, lalabas yan, divide 8, divide 8, 2,500, 
monthly yung interest sa 5 percent kung i-divide din sa 8 months so ito yung answer niya answer nito example number 2 problem natin Mila invest the amount of 60,000 PHP 11 peso at an interest rate of 1.5 percent and Mila leaves the money there for 3 years what is her balance after the time so lahat ng details kukunin natin so, meron tayo amount of 6,000. So, meron tayo P. Meron tayo P. Principal ay 60,000. PHP. At an interest rate of 1.5. Meron tayo I, small i. Interest rate, interest rate of 1.5%. So, convert natin sa decimal. So, equal. so divide natin sa 100 para magpunin yung percent. 1.5 percent divide 100 percent equal to 0 0.015. Interest rate and Mila leaves the money there for 3 years. Meron tayo yung number of period. 3 years yung time. So, and 3 years. Anong missing? What is her balance after that time? So, future. Balance after in future. So, ang wala ito, missing F, yung future. <coughs> so, ang formula lang, F, F, was principal plus interest. Then, F equals P, yung I natin equals to PIN. Di ba? I equals to PIN. So, equal lang natin. Plus PIN. P, factor natin. 1. P times 1. P. Then dito, P plus I and N. So, ito yung formula gagamitin natin. Para mag-solve ng F. So, hanap natin yung F. Yung F ay meron tayong P principal 60,000. 60,000. Then, 1 plus interest ay yung I natin 0 0.05 0 0.015 0 0.015 then, I didn't end yung number of periods. Yung time, meron tayo yung 3 years. So, meron tayo 3 years. <coughs> then, solve lang natin. Gagawin natin yung calculator. Multiply natin to Step by step, gagawin natin. 3 times 0 0.015. 3 times 0 0.015. First, point zero, point zero four five. Then add natin to okay one plus one one point zero four five. Then I multiply natin. Multiply natin dito kay 60,000 times 60,000 equals 62,700 PHP. Ito yung answer niya. Yung future, yung value niya. After 3 years, ito yung 3 years, ito na yung pera niya. 62,700 62, Philippine Peso Example number 3 tayo Example number 3 Find the number of years if John invested the amount of 65,000 pesos at 5% and gain simple interest of 12,500 So lahat ng details kunin natin So kung nag find the numbers dito missing ito ang hinanap ay N Yung long time, your number of periods, yung N. Yan ang hinahanap. 
you want to invest it amount of 60 will take principal 65,000 will take fee 65,000 at 5 percent will take interest i small i 5 percent so convert natin sa decimal divide lang natin sa 100 of 0 0.05 and gain simple interest yung balikan natin yung discussion na una sa simple interest yung gain yung i yung earn yung kinita yung i simple is of 12,500 pesos so ang hanap to n so ang formula natin yung i equals fin madali siyang matandaan ah so, ang hinahat niyo yung N So, pag kunin natin si N Para maalis niyo si P at si I Mag-divide tayo ng P at saka I Kung mag-divide tayo dito Mag-divide din natin si Kabila Yan, P at saka I Ang purpose para makancel So, makancel na si Itong dalawa So, ang natira si N Si N at saka si I at saka si P or I pwede rin naman ni cross multiply pwede niyo rin cross multiplication nyo so ito ito na yung formula natin so, kunin natin si N si number of period or time so meron tayong given si I si interest earned si gain yung ginansa yung kinita natin si to 12,000 500 yung principal natin yung amount 65,000 then I yung interest ay 0 0.05 0 0.05 so multiply itong una itong una it, it, multiply mo itong, itong una kasi kung i-delete natin magka-error tayo dyan Maliban lang kung expert na sa calculator, madali na lang. So, ang gawin natin step by step, multiply natin ito, 0 0.05 tsaka dito, 0 0.05, multiply natin sa 65,000, 3,250. Then, i-bring the notice 12,500. So, i-divide natin ito sa si 12,500. 12,500 divide kay 3,250. So, ang sagot niya ay 3.85 oh, 3 So, i-run up natin. So, ang N ay magiging 4. 4 years. Ito yung answer niya. So, example, number 4 tayo. <coughs> number of years ay 4 years. Example number 4. Mr. John borrowed the amount of 25,000 pesos for 100 days at 12%. Per annum, simple interest, how much will be due at the end of 100 days? So, try natin sagutin to eh. Share size. Ang sagot dito ay sagutin nyo to ang sagot dito ay kung magkatugma yung sagot natin ang sagot dito ay 25,833.33 PHP ito yung sagot nya uh, sagutin nyo kung ang solution yung ginawa ko sundin nyo lang yung ginawa ko sagot nyo. kung hindi ka pa nakapag subscribe please subscribe para lagi itang update sa mga video and hit the bell notification. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next my video. Bye-bye.